Hi, I'm John Waterhouse, and this is Weekday Wisdom. My question for you today is how true are your perceptions? I'm not asking how real your perceptions are, because whatever perceptions you have, they're real to you, and which makes them real. But are they true? As spiritual beings on planet Earth, our perceptions of ourselves and others, or of the conditions and circumstances of our lives, are all in perfect alignment with our consciousness. In fact, our perceptions are our consciousness. When we agree with and accept an experience, we embrace it immediately because it's in alignment with what we already believe. But when something happens that we disagree with or that we have no prior experience to draw from to know if it's so, we will often summarily reject it as wrong or bad or even deny that it ever really happened. So when we have limiting perceptions in our consciousness, these perceptions can be quietly running the show in some areas of our life, and we're not even aware of what's going on. We actually observe the world through our eternal construction of how things are, whether they're real or not, whether they're true or not. We call this our reality. I have my reality and you have yours, but that doesn't make something the best for us to know about it. When we have an intention to achieve some outcome, but we're not making that outcome happen, we may think, well, I'm just too busy to get that done, or there's just not enough time. Or maybe we're, uh, our limiting perceptions include thoughts like, well, I can't because of the pandemic or because of the economy. The things about limiting perceptions is that they can always be justified. There's always evidence to support why we can't do something, which may sound reasonable as we explain it to ourselves or someone else, but we never get to where we want to be when we hold on to that idea of something not being possible or of any kind of limiting perception. When we settle on a limiting perception, we stop looking for what is possible. The way out of the, this kind of thinking is to recognize it as though it were a room that with all the windows and doors being closed and shuttered. But when you open the door and peer outside, you can at least ask the question, what's possible? We don't have to deny our current reality or ignore it, but it is exceedingly helpful to recognize that we see the world through our perceptions. So the question becomes, what are we looking through? Any quantum physicist understands that the observer influences what is being observed. If we are observing anything through limitation, then that's what we get, limitation. So to open the door to what is possible, we must say no to what no longer serves us. We may question ourselves as to whether or not we're really speaking something that is true and meaningful and helpful, or are we making excuses for why things aren't happening in our lives? This means we might have to leave our comfort zone. We might have to try things we've never tried before. We might have to ask ourselves what needs to change inside of us so that we can move outside of that limitation to a greater sense of who we are. So here's something you may want to consider doing for the next few days. First of all, be extra mindful of what you say. Pay attention to your words. Pay attention to whether they bring you closer to what you want or they keep you away from it. Ask yourself, do these thoughts I express limit my ability to improve my life? Do the stories I'm sharing provide evidence to support what I can accomplish or what isn't getting done? Then consider replacing those thoughts or those stories with one simple question. What else is possible? Then listen for what comes. You may be astonished. You can also think of someone you respect that doesn't seem to have as many limitations uh, in their way of living life as, as you do, at least in that perception. <laughs> and ask yourself, what would he or she do? Better yet, if they're still around, why don't you ask them directly? They may give you uh, an angle you hadn't thought of. Now, none of this means that there's something that needs fixing. We are not broken. There's just something more to question. 
something more to get an answer to that may help us move along with our lives. Our job is to create the very best life for each of us that is possible. So take a look at where you are and where you've placed some roadblocks in your life and let those perceptions go. It may just make your journey a bit easier and a lot more fun. I hope that's true for you. It certainly is for me. And what I know is that I'm going to have a fantastic day. And I'll know for you that you have a fantastic day as well.